and we are back welcome everyone to the channel and to the model works been a long time since I have put up a video and so I'm glad to be back and uh, I've been busy just with the uh, odds and ends and working and you guys know the drill and everything so However, I have not been lazy. I have been, we have, uh, as most of you know, we've, it's not a new house now, but we moved in a couple of, coming up on two years ago in August, and uh, this is our second full season of yard cutting, and we went from a half acre lot to almost three times that, so one and a half acres is a lot of is a lot of grass to cut so we've been doing that and uh cutting weed eating and and it's been fairly wet here in middle tennessee the last uh few weeks and so we have had to cut about every five days in order to keep it looking halfway decent but at any rate we've not been lazy we've been doing those kind of odds and end things, and then uh, we have been building. <laughs> we have not been neglecting our model building, and if you recall, I did an intro video for a two-car Blue Max tribute, quote-unquote, I guess if that's what you want to call it, um, recognition of that iconic funny car, two different, I don't want to say liveries, but two different versions of it. And using these two kits that you see uh, before you there, the one on the left, uh, we did the we actually did the Ram Air Mustang, but we didn't do that that year. I believe that's the '74 version there, the light blue. We did the '71 version on the left, and then we used the Billy Meyer Chief Auto Parts funny car to do the '84 version. Of the Blue Max, so the one on the left was driven by Richard Tharp. The one on the right, of course, by none other than Raymond Beetle. So we are done, believe it or not. I've got them both finished, and I'm going to show them to you in their shelf container or display case or whatever. And then I've got, uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty long slideshow, but It'll move fairly fast and everything, show you some of the bill clips and some of the progress shots we took. And then uh, I'm going to show you what they're going to, first of all, what they're going to look like sitting on the shelf, which they have kind of been there for a little bit. Let me step over here and grab them. And uh, I'm just going to leave them in the case. This lid is hard to get off. It's, you guys that have these cases know how they are. And uh, there they are. Uh, let me get you down. Let me get you down at uh, eye level here a little bit closer. There we go. And a little bit that way. Whoop. And how about that? Did that, that get them both in? Not too. Let me, let me see. Let me see if I can back you up just a little. Okie dokie. There we go. That's not the best view in the world, but we'll uh, we'll go with that. Um, pretty pretty straightforward build on both of them. Uh, I was a little bit leery of the the blue the uh, AMT version, uh, just it, because it's an old kit. But surprisingly enough, it went together very well. It I didn't have any fit issues with it, and it it pretty well went together. Uh, let me come on down just a little bit. I'm still, I'll get you some better shots in the slideshow. I know you're probably getting nauseated and all that bouncing around. Uh, and there we go. That's pretty good. Like I said, I don't want to fight with that lid. I, I took it off one other time because one of them I had shifted around on the shelf and one of the cars had got it slid over kind of and I had to take the lid off and I almost screwed up 
you know, working these lids, you got to work them like corner to corner and front to back and because you know, they're very, very tight. And then all of a sudden it popped loose and I'd hit it and it almost knocked one of the cars out of the case and off the table. So uh, I'm not going to flirt with disaster any more than I have to. So, but you get the idea. And then, like I said, we'll do a slideshow, but uh, both of them uh, turned out very nice. I wanted to do a little bit different color on both of them. I didn't want them both exactly the same. The Blue Max was not the same color. There was uh, variations in the blue. The one on the left is uh, Tamiya uh, Telfonica Blue, Racing Blue. And the one on the right is MCW Model Car World. Uh, that is their Daytona Dark Blue. A little darker than I had wanted, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's good for, you know, what I wanted. And uh, now that kit, that's the Ravel kit, and that kit, uh, it's an 80, I forget what year that is. I believe that's an 80. Just a second. I believe that's an 85 version. I should have been ready. But I was not, let's see, no, I'm sorry, 97, my, my bad. That's what I, I meant, that's what actually what I meant, Nine, I thought it was 95, it's 97, my, my bad. Uh, but anyway, this, by this time, Ravel had figured out how to build funny cars, kits, engineer them to where they were, uh, when you got through, they were, you didn't have to do a lot of modification to them uh, to get them the stance right and so this one turned out very nice and everything just fell into place on it it um now i didn't do anything out of the ordinary i didn't do a lot i didn't do any fuel line plumbing and all that it was just i knew i had two cars to build so i didn't want i didn't want to do a lot of and the actually the reveal kit had some some fairly nice had a nice fuel line coming from the tank and some uh you know some other stuff so i didn't i didn't go above and beyond on that uh, both of them are cleared with uh, Restoration Shop 2K Clear Hot Rod Gloss. Turned out just fantastic. It, uh, the the light here in the shop doesn't do it doesn't do it justice. I when I take my picks, I move. I've got another place I take my picks where I, some better light. So, but uh, but that's it. There we are. So we you know we're pretty pleased with the way that came out and. Uh, I can't think of anything really out of the ordinary. All the uh, the engine details are painted in, uh, well, not the engine details. The in, all of the engine parts pretty much are a various array of AK Interactive, uh, the uh, metalizers that they make. The, I forget what they call the um, extreme metal. I get them confused between them and, and, uh, and, um, Well, I'm having I'm having brain trouble this morning. Uh, the metal colors by Vallejo. So, but uh, there they are. So I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the slideshow, and we'll get into high gear on uh, on something else, and uh, we'll put up another video here. And uh, I didn't want to do two separate videos since it's you know just two different funny cars, two different versions. So. We're going to slam it all together into one video and one slideshow and we'll do the uh we'll do each car individually and then uh that'll be it all right hope you enjoy it hope everyone's doing well been watching your vids and uh you've been turning out some good stuff uh hope everyone is well and uh doing uh all the building they can when they get the opportunity i know it's time of year here is when everybody's on vacation and school's getting out and all that stuff, so, but, uh, all right, good enough, uh, take care of one another, see you soon. <laughs>